to Simeo Folk Tech online course mini series. Today, we will talk about strategies for integrating soft skills in technical vocational education and training. This is a very important topic because soft skills has been considered as very important skills that everyone need to have. So in this course, we would like to uh, reach few objectives. The first one is that the participant will be able to explain what soft skills are and also to describe why we need to integrate the soft skills. As well as we would like you to list uh, some kind of strategies how to integrate the soft skills in the curriculum and then how to integrate this into the teaching learning as well as assessment. Let's go back a little bit about what soft skills are. There are various definitions of soft skills and I think the one that I feel uh, very uh, suit uh, with this discussion is that soft skill basically is the non-technical skills that relate to how we work. Traits and interpersonal skills that characterize the person's relation with other people. The term soft skill actually has been used interchangeably with other terms, for example like life skills, common skills, transferable skills, transversal skills, and, and many others. So basically this is the kind of skills that can be applied in different kind of situations. One is competencies that are related to how to communicate with people, how to relate with other people. The second is in terms of how can individual dealing with learning, continuous learning, and the third one is how they deal with work. So these three components are the, basically the categories under soft skills. And then under each, there are uh, sub, uh, soft skills that we can look at uh, on the chart. As you can see on the diagram or on the table over there, that there are few other soft skills in addition to the one mentioned in the UK. So those written in red, those are the new one, the additional one that uh, in these regions are considered very important. So now, the question is, why we think that these soft skills are important? So the first one is that soft skill is considered applicable or transferable in different kind of vocational and technical education or different occupations and to different social environment. This soft skill also sought after by employers. In fact, some of them said that actually soft skills are considered more important than the technical skills because this one need longer time to teach as well as this really giving them uh, the progressions as well as be able to adjust with the new environment. In this 21st century, actually this is even more important because these soft skills not only helping someone uh, when it comes to improving their job performance in the workplace but also this is useful for personal growth as well as for improving quality of life. But there is issue that, that we need to face when it comes to the soft skills. The first one is knowing that the soft skills is a long list of competencies or skills. So how can we integrate this in the curriculum, in teaching, learning and assessment? It's not that easy. And the second is knowing that soft skills is intangible. It's harder for us uh, to teach it or to assess it so in this case, we need to have different strategies, innovative strategies so that at the end we can integrate this in the teaching, learning and assessment. So let's start with the strategies in integrating soft skills in the TVET curriculum. So in the TVET curriculum, as we know that normally we need to identify what are the skills needed by the students when they uh, enter the labor market in the future. So knowing that different occupations will require different kind of set of skills as well as different level. So one of the good strategy is about using mapping, mapping tools. How can we map those different skills relevant for certain occupation? So in this case, basically like not all uh, occupation will require the same set of skills. 
And in this exercise, we will give you two examples of occupation. One is the occupation related to carpentry. The other one is occupation related to uh, the beauty, which is the uh, beauty therapy. And we will give you two scenarios. One is at the skill level. The other one is in the managerial level. You can see on the table here that we have a list of soft skills. And then we can also, you can see the, the levels. You can see that not all of those skills are needed. And also the level also different. So in this case, it's good for the teachers to sit down and identify which one among those are relevant for the students, depending on the department, the programs that they are in. So now let's move on to the next one, which is on the managerial level. So you can see in the managerial level that there are also different skills and also different levels. Let's take, uh, in this case, the communication. Communication as a manager, normally they require more in terms of the level compared to the skilled workers. So this is, again, it's important for us to, to map it out so that not all occupation will have the same level and same set. So let's move on to the strategies and methods suitable for inculcating soft skills. Soft skills can be taught as an integrated subject, meaning every courses that we have, we need to integrate soft skill inside, as well as soft skill can be taught as separate courses, or even you can offer it as an extracurricular activities. So when it comes to teaching, it, when it comes to imparting these skills, there are many strategies that we can do, but the most important thing is that this one cannot be taught with a traditional way should not be taught with a teacher center, should be more on the learner center, should be engaging the students to actively participating, communicating, problem solving. So we can introduce the project-based learning or problem-based learning, or even better if we can provide opportunity for the students to learn in the job, in job place. For example, like doing uh, on-the-job training internship program. Those are some avenues for the student to really learn about soft skills. So when it comes to the type of strategies, type of methods and activities, you can see that there are kind of different ways. So again, for the strategies, this is a bit bigger way of looking at this, is that we try to, give, to do, use a kind of learner center. We need to think whether we're planning to separate or integrate it. This is very, very important. We use, uh, I think this is very common, we call it constructivism, because in here we assume that a student will construct their own knowledge. So in this case, we need to provide opportunity for them to learn. When it comes to methods, this is about teaching. So we can use problem-based, project-based, and similar uh, kind of uh, strategies. And uh, the other one is about activities, group work, discussions. Uh, these are something that uh, we can employ in this uh, teaching and learning. Let's move on to uh, the strategies when it comes to assessing this. So how can we assess the soft skills? Many ways of assessing soft skills. One of the important uh, thing to consider is that soft skills should be monitored continuously. And also through observations done through holistic approach, which is not only rely on teachers' observation, but also peers as well as uh, the student themselves. So these are basically the you know several approach that we can use when it comes to the assessment. To wrap up, I'll give you a simple quiz just to see how far uh, you un un have understood the presentations. So in conclusion, again we realize the importance of soft skills. Soft skills are very important skills that everyone needs to have. So in this case, we need to have strategies in terms of how to integrate in the curriculum, how to integrate in the teaching learning as well in the assessment. So in the curriculum, the normal way or the most effective way we do is through mapping. So we need to map the kind of skills and the levels suitable for our students. So when it comes to teaching, we need to look at what are the strategies, a small kind of a learner center, not teacher center, providing opportunity for students to explore, to communicate with others, 
provide opportunity for on the job training or even better if you have opportunity for them to have some extracurricular activities going out to mingle with others communicate with communities these are the way we uh, inculcate uh, soft skills so even better also that the teachers need to be the role model because this cannot be taught but maybe through example and observation will be more effective so the last one about the assessment assessment should be done continuously through observation can be done by teachers as well as peers and students themselves so i hope that you have learned something from this topic and see you next time